Welcome back. For our second topic of discussion, let's understand about Chrome's V8 engine. Let me begin by mentioning that the JavaScript code we write cannot be understood by the computer. We need what is called a JavaScript engine. A JavaScript engine is a program that converts JavaScript code that developers write into machine code that allows a computer to perform specific tasks. In simple terms, a JavaScript engine can execute JavaScript code. JavaScript engines are typically developed by web browser vendors and every major browser has one. Following is the list of the different JavaScript engines for each major browser. V8, which is the open source JavaScript engine developed by Google for Chrome. SpiderMonkey, the JavaScript engine powering Firefox. JavaScript Core, which is the JavaScript engine developed by Apple for Safari. And finally, Chakra, which is the JavaScript engine for the original Microsoft Edge. In this list, our interest lies in the V8 engine by Google as it is what sits at the core of Node.js. Let's spend a few minutes to see what we can understand about it. I'm here at v8.dev where we can find all the information related to the V8 engine. I'll click on Docs, scroll down, and click on checking out the V8 source code. Here, I'll click on the GitHub repo link. Here, I'll scroll down to the README section where I want to go over a few points. First point, we see V8 is Google's open source JavaScript engine. We have just learned a JavaScript engine can execute JavaScript code, so hopefully this point makes sense. Second point, V8 implements ECMAScript as specified in ECMA 262. In the previous video, we've learned that ECMA 262 is the standard language specification and ECMAScript is the language that implements it. Hopefully, this point also needs no further explanation and you can see how we are slowly building a knowledge of prerequisites for the next video. Let's now move on to the third point, which might come off as a surprise to some of you. V8 is written in C++ and is used in Google Chrome. That's right, the code for the V8 engine is written in C++ and not JavaScript. Very important to keep in mind as the fourth point builds on top of that. V8 can run standalone or can be embedded into any C++ application. So you can use V8 engine as is to execute some JavaScript or if you have your own C++ program, you can embed V8 into that program. And this last point is what helped with the creation of Node.js. By embedding V8 into your own C++ application, you can write C++ code that gets executed when a user writes JavaScript code. In other words, you can add new features to JavaScript itself. And since C++ is great for lower level operations like file handling, database connections, and network operations, by embedding V8 into your own C++ program, you have the power to add all of that functionality in JavaScript. Here, the C++ program we are talking about is nothing but Node.js. Now, I know this is a lot to take in, so please rewatch this video if you have to. On the other hand, if all of this makes sense, let me quickly summarize the points. So a JavaScript engine is a program that executes JavaScript code. In 2008, Google created its own JavaScript engine called V8. V8 is written in C++ and can be used independently or can be embedded into other C++ programs. That allows you to write your own C++ program which can do everything that V8 can do and more. By that, I mean to say, your C++ program can run ECMAScript and additional features that you choose to incorporate. For example, 
features that are available in C++ but not available in JavaScript, which is the idea behind Node.js. All right, if you've understood what the V8 engine is, join me in the next video where we will finally understand what is a JavaScript runtime. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.